used to take myself out on dates Open my own damn doors, pay for everything on my plate Sometimes I'd even get the steak Cause I got it like that, always in my own bag Never needed no man to rely on Got two good shoulders to cry on I was alright on my own Till I fell but it wasn't fake And I couldn't tell at the time But I was my own soulmate It's like I forgot I was fine Let you treat me any kind of way Now I'm free, you gotta celebrate You couldn't see everything and stay That that I wasn't afraid to say Yeah, if I gotta choose me I won't be afraid to If I gotta choose me I gotta do what I gotta do When I love you, I lose me Now I can't be attached to you no more I like me better when I was yours I'm going back, I'm going back Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are filming my productive morning routine, mainly just to keep myself accountable so I can actually have a really productive day. Every time I've gone to film a productive morning routine, I end up just putting the footage in the weekly vlog because I like stop at a certain point where it's not really enough to keep going, but I wanna do that today. So I've been waking up lately around 5.30 and then probably getting out of bed at kind of quarter to six. And then I have my coffee and that's just kind of where my body clock is waking me up. Even if I'm not training in the morning, I still kind of wake up fairly early. So the time right now is 6.18. I feel like my Fridays are usually super productive and I do a lot of things or more chill. So today hopefully is going to be a productive day because I've got a huge to-do list that I definitely don't think I'm going to be able to get everything done. But it's more of like try and get most of it done and then we'll do some on the weekend. So I just try, I'm trying to get prepared for before when I leave. I'm going to get stuck into some work now because usually I feel the most productive as soon as I wake up in the morning. It's that energy. It like hits different. I don't know. My plan is to go to the gym a little bit later this morning. If I don't, that's okay because I'll probably go in the afternoon. I'm just going to see how I go. I don't like put too much pressure on myself to absolutely go at a certain time. I'm just going to like kind of go see as I go. Whereas normally I'd be like, gym is absolutely important but sometimes I've got work to do and I don't have time to go to the gym at that time of the day so yeah I also need to make my bed I need to wash my hair today so if you don't have a to-do list by now or some sort of calendar definitely get on it because it helps organize your morning like I had all of that in my head essentially so putting it out on paper goes okay right let's attack these one by one so definitely do that if you don't I need to clean this room as well but I'm just gonna open Actually, I'm trying to think. I feel like I've forgotten something that I need to do. No, okay, I'm gonna get stuck into some editing. Put these bad boys on. I've been really into using headphones lately. Primarily because of my, I was about to say tragus, day piercing. <laughs> and these will be excellent for the plane because they're like noise canceling. I look like an egg. Um, oh, I turned my Bluetooth off. I'm trying to be aesthetic, but the candle actually looks a bit gross. <laughs> Right, I've just finished my first task of the day, which was probably probably the most important or the one that I needed to do kind of like ASAP, which is always like the best one to start with, obviously. So I've just sent off a sponsored portion of a vlog away for approval. It's 8 a.m. So first thing is like done before the day is like just starting, you know? Um, I think I'm gonna go to the gym this morning just because I think if I don't go this morning, I probably won't go this afternoon because it's a Friday, I don't know. But I'm gonna attend to my room because that is very messy and then I'm gonna get dressed. I feel like for me and the most productive thing that I can do is break up my work between doing some work and then doing something else, doing some more work and then doing something else. I can't just sit at my computer for eight hours straight doing work because my brain just can't, it just can't do that. So this is what works best for me. Okay, I really need to pee. daily task of picking a gym fit. Today is going to be like quite cardio based. So when I tell you I have been obsessed with the new Gymshark Adapt. This part of the video is sponsored by Gymshark and Gymshark if you're watching, please, which you are. <laughs> 
please come out with these in a million different colors these i have black as well i'm pretty sure do i have them in the shorts i have to check but i have been obsessed with the fit of these they look really long when they're not on but i don't know by the time i'm moving around and they kind of like adjust they sit at a really nice length where they're not too short but they're not super super long because i don't really love that look on me they have the little scrunch bum at the back pattern is really cool it makes the booty look phenomenal if i do say so myself the colors are absolutely stunning i am just they are probably my favorite gymshark legging that i've ever tried and that is saying something because i've tried a lot but let me show you the other colors okay i do have the black so that is good so they also have them in the leggings which are equally as phenomenal fits so so well if you can see that is the pattern there and then these are the black they just make your bum look fabulous and then, then this is the adapt crop. I didn't think I would like this because I always feel, um, for some reason, high necklines scare me. I don't know why. I feel like I'm going to be restricted. And I didn't think it would suit me. But I actually really love how this looks. I feel like it's quite flattering. And it is super, super supportive because it is such a high neckline. It kind of reminds me of the like original adapt camo crops. So that's what it looks like at the back. Really, really supportive. This is in a size small. Yes, size small. And the bottoms I wear in an extra small. And then they also came out with the adapt fleck which equally is probably one of my favorite collections i don't know why it's just the way it sits on your body that i really like and the material is the same it's that thicker but not heavy at all feeling so these are the adapt fleck so these are in a really pretty pink color as you can see they don't have any front seams which is my favorite i definitely cannot i cannot do a front seam i just can't do it and then they also have it in this really pretty off white Shade, I'm not going to wear this today though because it'll just get too dirty because we'll be like jumping around and stuff. But equally, I love the Adapt Fleck. I think it's so flattering. They also have this in a green and I need to get my hands on it. Okay, and then they also came out with the Minimal Sports Bra, which this is on backwards, which is definitely aimed for more slow movement like walks or Pilates. They have a lot less coverage, so they're more of like a bralette type of vibe. And you can actually detach the little three straps at the back so then you can almost wear it as a little halter neck. I'd definitely be curious to try a medium. I think they're a little bit too small for me because I feel like my boobs are just a bit too big for the small, but the medium might be okay. So I definitely would like to try. So I think if you have a smaller chest, these would be phenomenal. And I think on everyone, they look really good. I just think on me with my fake boobs, they're just a little bit too booby you know my personal fave sports bras from gymshark are these three we have the v-neck sports bras which they've definitely improved the fit on all of these this is in the biscotti brown color again i wear all my tops from gymshark in a small and then i also love the scoop neck sports bra super super flattering i feel like i'm definitely more of a minimal sports bra girl i don't like a whole heap of coverage usually um it just depends on what workout i'm doing but nine times out of ten i go for something like this and then the room sports bras are also really really nice they're very flattering they really like cinch you in in the bust so they look really pretty those are my top picks so now i need to decide what i want to wear to the gym i think i'm gonna go with black today because simple don't have to worry about sweat or anything like that and then this could be a cute match okay you can see how long they are when i first put them on like i would not wear them like this so i kind of just hack them up a bit shake them out situate them on the booty they are super high-waisted as you can see but lately what I've been doing is I've kind of been folding it down a bit. It really just depends. Just because I have a really short torso and I feel like that hits me at a more flattering point. But yeah, as you can see, they just kind of sit like that. And then as I move around, they stay at a really nice length and they don't come up so high where I feel like I'm wearing undies, you know? Okay, I can't really see myself very well. I think this will be... The Dyson in the background. So cute. I think this will be my gym fit today. Usually I'm all about colour, but today I'm thinking just simple. Alright, I'm going to quickly get ready because I am running quite late. So. I belong, I belong to you. I belong, I belong to you. Do just what you want.
351 active, 412 total calories. Very sweaty, starting off my Friday morning really well. Alrighty, I'm gonna head home, I'm gonna wash my hair and keep on working. Alright, I'm gonna jump in the shower. Oh, I think I hurt my knee, unfortunately, today. We were doing box jumps, I didn't film it, but I don't know if I did it on the box jumps or what, but I've never like hurt my knee before. I'm hoping it's just, like I might've just banged it onto the ground and it's just sore temporarily. Let me just stop injuring myself. <laughs> Trying out this super serum by Sayer. It's a nice cinnamide because my skin usually responds quite well to that. Then I'm going in with this hydrating serum from Dermalogica. And then some moisturizer. And I'm gonna do sunscreen when this is all kind of soaked in. And then I'm gonna put my hair up. It's not in here, in a t-shirt. Okay, I feel like being comfy today. So I'm going, I'm putting on this shirt I got from Amoroso Boutique in my last weekly vlog the other week. In my last weekly vlog the other week. Um, I really like it. I feel like it looks nice with my dark hair as well. So cute. Push press felt very heavy this morning. I haven't done that in ages. I find that when I get dressed in the morning, since I work from home, I feel a lot more put together and it tricks my mind into thinking that we're working, we're having a productive day, I'm not just sitting in my pyjamas or even track pants. I mean, honestly, sometimes I will put trackies on because it's so comfy. I'm gonna make an effort to get dressed and get ready today. This bracelet is Louis Vuitton and this um, one is Mimco and this is Anna Louisa. My scent of choice today is Dior Sauvage. This is the situation. Okay, it's now 10.30. I'm gonna make my breakfast okay for my breakfast i'm making my egg wrap i don't really have any lettuce at the moment so i'm just using this like coleslaw mix you can't really see what i'm doing um but i'm just preheating my ham i mean <laughs> preheating the pan just gonna mix up chop up a roasted pepper okay and then i've got my pan on really low heat i've shown this before but to clean my stove top and then this is the filling super random but i'm thinking i'm gonna do salsa and maybe dijon mustard although that's probably a weird combination i'm just gonna do dijon mustard because that's what i always do Hey, that is my wrap. Some days this doesn't work at all and it completely falls to people with pieces and crumbles. But some days it works immaculately like today, which is brilliant. It's gonna look crazy, okay? This is just mapping out where we want the colour to be. And then here, we're gonna be putting the colours down. pop in it some heat protectant. I don't know whether I'm gonna blow dry my hair today. It definitely turns out a lot less frizzy if I do, but that I need to get some more. I've also been really loving this K18 um, leave-in hair masks. Mask? You're not meant to condition your hair when you use it. So you use this instead of a conditioner essentially. Serum, what is this? A weightless conditioning oil. Just because I feel like I do struggle a little bit with like frizzy hair, but it's probably because it's a bit damaged or where it's like blonde and stuff. Just brush it through. But I usually try and get my hair to dry in this position at the front because it kind of just like makes my hair dry in that swoopy fashion and it looks really cool. Um, and I don't have to like do anything to it. So I'll let my hair chill there. I'm gonna do very minimal makeup today because I really actually liked what I did yesterday which was 
very minimal. So I'm going to take this Glow Skin Beauty Sea Shield Anti-Pollution Moisture Tint in the color 6. I do have the color 5 as well. I might actually... Should I mix them? Because they both have different undertones, but it doesn't really matter. And I'm going to apply that. Rub it in. This is a lot thicker than my MAC face and body for sure because it's more of like a moisturizer, obviously. I'm trying to decide. I think I'm going to take obviously one like foundation with me and I think I'm going to take the Flower Beauty Light Illusion. Oh my God, you know what I haven't used in ages? The Hourglass Stick Foundation. That stuff is phenomenal. Ooh, should I buy that? I may have to reevaluate. And that one's really easy for traveling because it's so quick. Um, but the Flower Beauty Light Illusion is phenomenal as well. And then I want to take one like everyday foundation or like a moisturizer. And I don't know whether to take something like this or my MAC Face and Body because I do love those. I find that foundation never sticks to my jawline. So I'm just going to put some of the Flower Beauty Light Illusion on my like jawline just because I find that it never. But like look how nice my skin looks. It just looks a little bit more even but nothing too crazy. That's what we love. <laughs> But yeah, essentially with my makeup, when, I, when I'm not filming, I can do my makeup in about 15 minutes, I would say. Probably even less, maybe like 12. It's a little bit more than 10 minutes. So, but because I'm but because I'm filming, it takes a little bit longer. I'm going to spot conceal. Okay, for my eyes lately, I've been using Hoola Caramel because it's a little bit darker than Hoola. And it's a little bit more intense on my eyes than like my Too Faced Sweetheart's bronzer. So I only need a little bit and it's a little bit more caramelized, which I feel like really brings out the green in my eyes because it's so warm toned. Ooh, I don't really put anything in my lips. when I use a dry mascara and then like a fresh new mascara. I definitely put on way more makeup than I anticipated. But this is kind of like a mascara that's on its last legs. And I'm just gonna do a coat. So it's a little bit like chunky, probably expired, definitely shouldn't. I love this mascara. This is the Emco Beauty one. Put that on. Sorry about the fan, but it's hot in here. I have a fresh one that's not bent. I go in and apply. Da, 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 da. I feel like mascaras when you first get them are good, and then they hit like a sweet spot when they're when you've been using them for a little bit, and they're so good, and then they get a bit shitty at the end and they dry out. <laughs> I have fun in like that. I'm so excited to get my next lash lift and see. Oh, I've got a major clump on the end there though. I'm so excited to get my next lash lift and see if they look a little bit different because obviously they've grown a bit more. Sometimes I go, I'm going to put a touch on my lower lashes just more so to colour them in. Not to make them... I'm not going to blow dry my hair right now. I'm going to leave it at that. Oh my god, it's stuck. This is this could be stuck. But I want to do some more work. This is the makeup for today. Hopefully I can get some content as well. I'll check in with you later. it's now almost a week later and I'm just editing this video but that pretty much completed my morning routine because the last thing you saw was kind of the last part of the morning anyway so I actually had a very productive day that day which was really good I personally love watching morning routines I find them super motivating and I just love seeing how people start their mornings sometimes my mornings will look like that and sometimes they will look very very different it really just depends but I just really enjoy waking up early and I get a lot of questions of like how how do I wake up so early and I'm just a morning person at heart like I always have been I just love it there is something about when you first get up and the air is crisp and you see the sun rising it's just magical so I hope you guys enjoyed this video please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already I think by the time you see this I'm gonna be probably on a plane I think 
<laughs> on a plane to London. So yeah, I'm not sure because the time difference will be very confusing. But yeah, hope you guys are having a lovely day or night wherever you are in the world and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.